Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for joining us for this chat, and thanks for hanging in there if you're still there. Uh, we had some audio issues that we got sorted out now, and uh, we should be good to go. Now we're going to get into the forecast for this latest storm that's moving into Lancaster County. Um, but first, I just wanted to go over with Eric Hurst, who's joining us from uh, Millersville University, um, a little bit about what this uh, winter has been for us um, and where we stand with snowfall totals right now heading into the storm. Right. Well, uh, year to date, the official snowfall here in Lancaster, as measured at our weather center, is 18.4 inches. So that's a little below average. Um, long term, uh, entire winter season, uh, the average is 27 inches. Now, if we pick up nine inches from the storm, well, then that'll put us right where average is. Now, uh, this forecast is tricky, so I'm not going to guarantee nine, but it's a possibility. Right, right. Now, have we broken any records this winter? I know it was pretty warm there for a while. Yeah, temperature records. Uh, we actually broke some record cold and record warm. If you remember back to New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, it was the coldest New Year's Day on record here in Lancaster. And we got down to uh, uh, four degrees below zero uh, to start the year. However, then in February, we had our uh, 10th warmest February on record. And that included one day where we hit 80 degrees. And that was the earliest we've ever recorded an 80 degree reading here in the Lancaster area. So uh, it's been a winter of contrast, uh, quite cold and snowy back in December and early January. But after that, you know, winter's kind of uh, taken a bit of a break. And, you know, that's pretty much what I was expecting heading into this winter. My winter outlook that I gave you guys back on November 1st, I talked about a winter uh, of high contrast. Uh, if you don't like the current weather, wait a couple weeks because the pattern will change. And that's pretty much what we've seen. And now we're flipping back and revisiting uh, a more wintry pattern, one which is bringing us uh, some pretty chilly weather. Uh, actually, we're running a few degrees below average right now here in early March and uh, some snow in the mix here uh, over the next 24 hours. Right. And now, if I remember correctly, we dealt with a similar pattern last year where we had a pretty significant snowstorm in March uh, when we just when we thought we were out of the clear for snow. And now we're getting some now. Yeah, that's right. But, but last March, it was a, a, a really warm winter and virtually snowless up into uh, up until that March storm. Uh, and, uh, you know, last winter was one of the, I, I think, the third warmest winter on record here in Lancaster. This winter, when you average out all the temperatures, December, January, February, we're pretty close to average. You know, so it's it, despite the ups and the downs, when you average it out, uh, this winter is pretty close to normal in terms of temperature. And if we pick up some decent snow here uh, in the next 24 hours, we could end up pretty close to average in snowfall. So, uh, so yeah, we did have that storm last March, but other than that, uh, this winter is much different from last winter. Right. So let's get into this latest storm here. Uh, tell me a little bit about the track of the storm and what we might be looking at in terms of the variables. I know there might be some heavy bands and some lighter bands and, and where they set up. Right. Well, it's certainly a complex setup. There's actually two low pressure centers. The first a disturbance is out in the Midwest. It's going up the Ohio Valley. It's going to tra uh, track into western Pennsylvania this evening. That'll bring the initial band of precipitation up into uh, the Lancaster area, into the Susquehanna Valley, right around sunset. Uh, then the second storm develops late tonight and tomorrow off the Jersey coast. That will turn quickly into a strong nor'easter and bring uh, moisture from the Atlantic back in uh, to our neck of the woods and make for periods of heavier snow the first half of the day on Wednesday. So it's a pretty rapid fire setup. This first batch tonight, not a big deal. In fact, it's going to even start off as some rain this evening with temperatures around 40 degrees. That rain will mix over to snow later in the evening. There could be a slushy coating to an inch or two uh, by midnight or by 2 a.m. But the real business is late tonight into tomorrow. That's when the coastal storm, the nor'easter develops. And there's going to be a period where it could snow pretty heavily here. Okay. Is there, so there's not a lot of concern for travel tonight in terms of getting home from work. That's it's right. travel tomorrow morning. That's right. Tomorrow morning, uh, if things pan out as I'm expecting, I would expect uh, schools to be closed and businesses to be closed or at least delayed. The system will be uh, exiting uh, during the mid and late afternoon. So conditions should be improving as we get into tomorrow evening. But uh, certainly uh, the morning into the midday, uh, it could be snowing at an inch, perhaps two inches an hour at times, uh, and it's heavy, wet snow. And so uh, that'll 
make for some difficult travel, no doubt about it. Now, the, the one question mark is where is the western edge of the heavy snow going to set up? Um, when we're done with this chat, I'm going to tweet out my snowfall map that I just put together, and uh, I'm sure you guys will share it uh, as well. And uh, what I'm depicting is uh, a foot or more of snow falling uh, up around uh, Lebanon County, Berks County, Schuylkill County, up into the Lehigh Valley and Poconos. That is, those are areas where I can see a foot of snow being quite common. As you get farther west and farther south, the snow is going to taper off. So here in Lancaster County, I anticipate uh, from Lancaster City southward, something in, on the order of uh, four to eight inches. Northern Lancaster County, as you get up to say uh, Mannheim, Lidditz, uh, up towards Denver, Adamstown, the Furnace Hills, up near the Turnpike, 6 to 12 is the most likely outcome. Okay, and like you said, that's going to depend on how this sets up and plays out, and it's been a hard one for you to track. Well, yeah, I mean, this the, the, the Nor'easter hasn't formed yet. It's not going to form until late tonight, so we're really dependent on pattern recognition, computer models, just knowing how these storms play out in the past. For instance, these March storms in Philadelphia often go over to rain. So I, I kind of think Philly might only get a, a slushy few inches and, and that they will go over to rain. And there could even be some rain that mixes in down around Quarryville. Perhaps even a little rain or sleet mixes in here at midday tomorrow. But I think it's mainly snow across most of Lancaster County. But those are details uh, that can affect the outcome. Temperatures, we talked about it being 40 degrees when the light rain moves in this evening. I think when... Uh, the heaviest part of the storm occurs here, it's going to be right around 32 degrees. So that's cold enough for that heavy, wet snow to stick, um, though maybe it struggles to stick on roads initially. Um, but if it comes down at an inch or two an hour, it will uh, accumulate faster than it can melt on the roads. And that's why I think there will be some, uh, some messy and treacherous travel uh, on Wednesday. And uh, if you live up on a hill, if you're up, you know, um, the Furnace Hills or the hill, you know, uh, Welsh Mountain in eastern Lancaster County or even some of the hills around Akron and Lidditz and, and uh, Mannheim. If you're up on a hill, you'll probably do a few inches better than the folks that live at the bottom of the hill. So there could even be some variation and accumulation from neighborhood to neighborhood because of uh, elevation differences. Okay. So to recap, you're saying six to 12 inches for Lancaster, and it just depends on the region and how the storm sets up, but also the fact that the rain could, could play a factor in, in the final totals here. And that we're obviously going to stick with you and find out uh, how that shapes up as the storm moves in tonight and into tomorrow. Yeah. Let me correct you on one thing. The six to 12 was for Northern Lancaster County, not Lancaster city. I, I mean, there's a scenario that Lancaster city could end up in that range but I'm thinking the, the more likely outcome for Lancaster City, uh, you know, the center part of the county, you know, the populated suburban area uh, uh, portion of the county, I think uh, four to eight is more common. Uh, and the six to 12 is a, a better estimate if you're in that northern third or northern quarter of the county as you get up, like I said, uh, Terry Hill, Lidditz, uh, Mannheim, Elizabethtown, up towards the Turnpike. That is where I think the 6 to 12 is a better estimate. Okay, great. Uh, Eric, looking ahead here, after we deal with this storm, uh, how's the rest of March look before we uh, move into April and spring weather? Yeah, well, one of the key things we've been watching the last week is there's been a blocking pattern develop over the North Atlantic Ocean. It formed over Iceland and Greenland last week. It's now retrograded into the Canadian Maritimes and the Labrador area. When you get a blocking high pressure there, it tends to lock in chilly air over the Northeast. So I'm thinking uh, we have another seven to 14 days of temperatures running a few degrees below average. So I'm sorry to say we're not going to see any 70 degree days anytime soon. I think after we get beyond about, oh, March 17th, let's say, that second half of the month, the last two weeks of the month, that blocking pattern should break down and that should allow things to begin to warm up. But, you know, the next uh, week or two, we could have another snow event to worry about, or at least another wintry mix event beyond this, maybe Sunday night, uh, perhaps uh, the middle of next week. I see some potential. Um, of course, you know, the playing field is complex and this time of year in March, temperatures are naturally very marginal. So um, it, it's a fine line between getting heavy, wet snow and just getting plain rain. And, and that, that's why this current forecast for tomorrow is so tricky. Uh, Philadelphia could get more rain than snow, whereas you just drive up to, say, King of Prussia, 
and they're going to get more snow than rain. And that's not a very big difference between downtown Philly and King of Prussia. It could be the difference between two inches and 10 inches between downtown Philly and King of Prussia. Same thing across Lancaster County. If you're down uh, near the Maryland border, perhaps you only get three or four inches. Uh, if you're up near the turnpike, you can get, like I said, uh, up to 12 inches. So there could be quite a contrast. I think there will be quite a contrast across the county. So it makes it tough for a, a meteorologist uh, to nuance, but um, that's what we try to do, so. Right, and March is in like a lion again. So we will continue to monitor this storm. We'll continue to monitor this one, and uh, we'll, of course, stick with uh, Millersville University meteorologist Eric Hurst, uh, who's joined us again for a live chat. And sorry again, folks, for the for the sound uh, problems that we had earlier. Uh, got them sorted out, and now we got you the latest news. Uh, you can also follow Eric on Twitter, at MUWeather. He's super active on there and, and uh, uh, provides lots of updates. So be sure to give him a follow on Twitter. Thanks again for joining us, Eric. You bet. Enjoy the storm. Be safe, folks.